Hey everyone! In this tutorial I'll show you a bit how the character transitions work on the character. So what makes a character transition from uh, one zone to another and how to set up a custom transition. Or any transition in that case. Uh, I started with an empty map and the first thing I'll do is pop in a cube and ledge so we have something to work with. Uh, so here's the ledge. Put that in and put this about here. Scale up the cube a little uh, like so. Okay, that works. And now we'll make the uh, ledge, configure the ledge to transition to a platform above and Lastly, we go into world settings and change our game mode again to the Adventure Kids sample game mode. Okay, now we can. Oh, that is floating. Just put that back to the ground. Like so, and now we can clamp the ledge uh, and use it and everything. Okay, so now on to setting up a ca character with a custom transition. For that, we'll create a new blueprint and derive from the Adventure Kit sample character. We'll call this our uh, transition character. Now, all transitions are initially handled by a character action. Character actions can be very powerful. Um, they kind of work in a way that you start one action and it can either do something or uh, the delegate to another action and um, based on this you can build up an action tree uh, so um, depending like you can for example make combos with it so uh, for example the player um, starts the attack uh, hits the attack key and this starts the swing action but when the uh, player again hits the attack key while in the middle of a swing the character could then uh, de delegate through another action with which I don't know, makes an uppercut or something like that. Um, and the action system is also used for transitions. So the first uh, action we'll need is a physics transition action. And uh, yeah, adventure kit character action underscore physics transition. And we'll call this uh, custom physics transition. So what happens is whenever a character enters a zone or leaves a zone or does a transition, the physics action is called and this decides which um, what should happen in that case. So for now, um, let me quickly uh, set our custom action uh, to our character and therefore we go to the actions. And you can see a lot of actions are already um, configured. We'll just scrap them all and add our own um, custom transition. Okay. And now we'll add our character to the scene. And like in the other tutorial, we'll put the auto possess uh, to player one, uh, player zero. So we'll use this character. And now the character can't do anything anymore because we haven't configured anything. It's an empty action that doesn't do anything. The first thing we want to do is the transition from walking to ledge climbing. So we'll add another transition and we go from walking to ledge climbing. Now this will always uh, use, it will delegate to the transition action when going from walking to ledge climbing and you can configure a reverse action which will uh, delegate it to in, uh, redirected to in case you go from ledge climbing to walking. Now, the next thing we'll need is an action that actually handles this behavior. So we'll create another blueprint and we'll derive from zone transition action. So it's adventure kit character action underscore zone transition. And you can also already see here there are a bunch of different ones. In our case, we have no animation, so we'll use no anim. And we'll call
call this uh, generic zone transition. Now here we have a bunch of parameters. Um, the first thing is the transition curve, which means uh, in the time frame of one second, the character will kind of smoothly interpolate from where he was to the zone that he'll have on the uh, to the location that he'll have on the zone uh, using the smooth transition curve. And then we have a uh, kind of toggle here: apply zone on start or on stop which means um, you can either set the zone at the beginning of the transition or at the end. And a few modifiers. Modifiers will, well, modify the character. You have a bunch of them, so you can apply the transition movement mode, which means to set the physics uh, of the character, of the zone that the character is transitioning to, or you can enable the collision or disable the collision, or equip or de-equip a certain item, or set, like, any um, physics mode you want, any movement mode you want. You can have the character orient itself to the zone or um, configure whether or not the character looks in a direction that a camera is looking in. Uh, for now, this this will do. Um, just compile and save, so we'll just keep it as it is and we'll just plug the generic transition into both slots here. Okay. Now when the character goes to the ledge, it will smoothly interpolate to the ledge and uh, also go up here. So any any transition from walking uh, to ledge is uh, handled by this custom smooth interpolation action. Uh, the character cannot yet um, fall down or let go of the ledge because that would be a transition from ledge climbing to falling if you let go of the ledge. So we go back into the physics transition and add another transition from uh, falling to ledge climbing. Here we go. And again, we'll just use the generic for both ways. Now the character can uh, just let go or from falling will transition to the ledge. Now in most cases you don't want uh, a generic smooth transition, but instead an animation to be played. So uh, let's, for example, do a transition to platform. So for the first uh, the transition from the ledge to platform should be an animation where the character climbs up and stands up on the platform. Uh, so let's create another zone transition. And for this one we'll take a single animation, because we only want one animation to be played when the character climbs up. I will call this to, uh, ledge to platform. And here we can set an animation montage. Uh, in our case, we'll use uh, to platform, which is one that comes with the kit already. And compile. And now we'll go into the physics transition again and say from ledge climbing to walking, we want the platform transition. So we select that and plug it in here. And now if you climb up the character will do the configured animation transition. Now you'll notice we haven't configured any um, any modifiers in this transition. Uh, so there's no transition curve and no, no modifiers applied. This is because if you're using an animation montage, it is easier to add um, modifiers to the montage itself, which uh, will then do the same as the no animation transition action. Um, let's add another one. So now we'll put a, uh, we'll change the action that goes from ledge to falling. Uh, so let's create a new transition action. Again, we'll choose no anim because we don't want an animation there and we'll call it uh, let go. Now in this case, we don't want a transition um, that takes about a second and then um, like smoothly interpolates the character. So instead we'll just delete 
the endpoint. So the transition is now instant because there's no no curve that gives it a time. And then we'll we'll swap out uh, from ledge climbing to falling is the reverse action. So we'll put let it go uh, let go here. And now if the character lets go, it will just start falling. Uh, the next one we can replace is grabbing the ledge, so we'll create another single enum. Select that and we call it grab ledge, which would be the action that is played when walking and grabbing a ledge. And we'll call this, uh, I will use the montage, I think it's grab ledge, no, it's to walking to ledge. Okay, configure save, open custom transition again, and from walking to ledge climbing, we want our grab ledge to be used. And now the character. Oh, uh, let me see, maybe this isn't configured correctly. Ah, uh, yes, we uh, I put another modifier here, uh, another notifier here, which modifies the character, and we'll apply the transition movement mode, because otherwise uh, the character won't change physics won't change the, uh, the movement mode. And now it's set to zone cl uh, ledge climbing as soon as the animation starts. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you configure different actions on the zones. And as you can see, you can pretty much configure it the way you want. Um, uh, whatever animation or other behavior you want the character to express, you can do via actions. And this is a basic transition, we'll uh, cover more complex transi transitions and uh, something called transition correction in the next tutorial. And uh, well, I hope to see you then. Thanks for watching.